Hello friends, we're now back here in my craft room. I've got my tripod up on the stands. Right here, this seems to be, I don't know, the lightest where you can see the best. So, I'm going to show y'all my haul. Y'all seen the haul earlier in the living room from our church auction. So now I'm going to show you my uh, rummage sale haul from Saturday morning, yesterday morning. It was a church here in Lacombe. We, well, there was two different ones. Two different churches had rummage sales that we went to both of them right here in Lacombe. Very close because Lacombe is very small. Um, so, the first one we went to, I bought a bag full of stuff for just $4. And that was it. The second one we went to, I didn't find anything there that I wanted. So, this is one of the things that I found and bought let me tilt it down just a little bit y'all hang on just a minute i'm trying not to move it so much because see i move it a little too much now let me see if i got the stand fixed right so it don't fall i still y'all give me a minute that's probably too much, but maybe not. Okay, y'all see this? Ain't it pretty? It's a pretty girl on there. That's embroidery, and I love to embroidery, and I love that dress. It's, it was 50 cents, as y'all can see right here. And um, like I said, the whole bag costed $4 even. So, it's got one of, it's a table runner is what it is. So, it's got one of the girls on each side. So, I got that. And I also found this, and it was like this on this crazy thing. I don't really know what that is, but anyway... And then it's lace. And this is what it looks like. Let me put my hand. I'm not good at this, y'all. Like this. So ain't that pretty? And it's this much of it. Y'all can see how much of it is here. Pretty thick on there. Okay, so that's one. And then I also found this big old huge thick roll. See here? I want my hand behind it so y'all can see. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, 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 pretty. It's got flowers on it. And that's a big bunch of that. I'm excited about that. Okay, then I found this bag of these big old shells. And I've got an ideal for these big old shells. It's quite a bit of them in there. Becca, remember my miniature stuff I like? These would be perfect little bases to make little seams and glue the little miniature things on. Find some moss or something to glue in the bottom or whatever and just, I don't know, or something. We'll see. But I found that. It was a dollar. Okay. Then I found a bunch of ribbon. So I got this one. And I found this one. This is really pretty. I really like that one. I'm trying to 
it's coming. And that goes in dims. Oh, that agar frets me, and I don't want you up that close either. And so I think it looks the same on both sides. Okay. Those two. And then I also found this one. It's a big wide one with different colored stripes. It's got the plastic on it, so it's like it's brand new, never been used. Okay. And then I found this other bag. And these look like buttons in here. But they're, listen to the sound of them. They're like porcelain or something. But because the holes are in them, it makes me think so they're buttons. But they're of different things. Like that right there is a watermelon. That looks like lemon. And then that looks like a little bunny rabbit. Right there. That looks dark, don't it? Can y'all see that? And just, I see a hand here. I'm seeing a turtle. There's a turtle. But also in this bag, there's this little, like a patch of a teddy bear. And then there's some cards in here. Or it looks like cards. It may be more patches. Okay. That looks like dolphins. I'm hoping y'all can see that. It looks dark to me too now. There's a round button with that kind of a bunny on it. And then, if I could move that out of the way. Duck patches. So, I, I figured, I liked the buttons in here. And see, there's a little heart. And I like that they're a glass type. Uh, Porcelain, ceramic, whatever you want to call it. There's a grape. It's weird. It makes you wonder where they came from, what they are, what were they used for, you know. But I got that. And then I found this. And uh, I figured I can figure some way to use them. It's three of them, like this, on kind of cards. And, uh, they're hung on there. I really and truly don't know what they are. They're not rings. I thought they were earrings, but I don't think they're earrings, because look at the back. It's just wire, and they're closed. The wire is wrapped around each other. See? So that's what the backs of all of them you, uh, look like. So that's how those are made. I don't really know what they are, what they're supposed to be used for. I'm sure some type of jewelry. But I figure I'm just going to use them, you know, glue them on crafting stuff. Mm -hmm. So I got that. And that, well, drop it, Sherry. Ugh. And then... Um, they did have some jewelry there. I got some old timey, the clip on style earrings. See that? And then that's what it looks like. That, of course, I don't wear jewelry, but I'm gonna use it in my crafting stuff. I hope y'all can see that good. So I got those. And then I found, oh, let me show you this first. I got this, found this uh, keychain of the Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower, Eiffel Tower, how do you say it? And I think it's in Paris. Yeah, it says Paris right there on the top of it. Mm -hmm. So got that. 
I figured I could use that some way. And then I found this big bag, and it was 50 cents. And it looks like, you know, it's lace stuff, which I am loving lace stuff. And there goes my thing jamming again. And then on this side, look at this one with some coppery or goldish looking stuff in it. I love the looks of that one. So that's a big bag of stuff. I haven't even opened it really to see what all else is in there or to even figure out what it is. Probably more table runners, wouldn't you think? Uh-oh. That's something real little. That's a round one. So that's cool. Okay. And then there's, this is in another bag in here. So let me stick this back in here. Oh, that was about to fall out. Here's some more of, looks like that same kind of stuff. I'll stick it in there. Like that. And then look, here's a blue one. I didn't see the blue one. It was hid. A runner. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Can you, will you hush? And then here's that coppery goldish one. Look how pretty that is. Oh man, I love it. It's rounded at the end. I love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> okay, so that is my rummage sale haul. Now that's all of that. I'm going to show you my Dollar Tree haul now. Okay. Oh, and by the way, all that stuff I just showed you, $4 at the rummage sale. Okay, Dollar Tree. This is my, um, I love the Chico sticks. Okay, but as you can see, it says right here, sugar free. And yes, I've done opened it and been in it. Of course. And then I also got uh, peanut butter bars, sugar-free. Okay. By the way, this bag, I'm sure you know, it's the little mini ones. It's not, excuse me, the big long ones. And then I got... It's, it's uh, Werther's, if that's how you say it, original, creamy caramels, and it's sugar-free. So they're um, the little old bitty things like that. Alright. And that's all the candy. Albert did get him a pack of candy. And uh, Elizabeth got some stuff and bought it with her money. Um, but I found this. Um, some dot stickers. They had these little mini ones like this. And then they had the bigger ones like this. So I got both of those packs. And I found... These napkins, look how beautiful that is. A teacup and a saucer and a bird and some flowers and then a frame up here with a bird in it, beautiful. But it says party and it's got 20 of them in there. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then I got this pretty blue lacy looking roll of a washi tape type. It's the tape ribbon, they call it. It looks like that. I don't know if you can tell that. Okay, and then I got 
these little bitty, I found this, this is nail art. I don't wear makeup and such either, but this is stuff that people nail glue onto their nails after they paint them. But I'm going to use them with my crafts. And the little bottles is cute. I mean, I might want to just set the little bottles with the stuff in it up on my shelf and never use the stuff out of it. Just have the cute little bottles, you know? So I thought that was cute. Did that dim again? Yes, sir. So I got that. And then I'm going Here's what I went for when I really wanted to go. Well, it's not exactly. This is the scrapbook book I was talking about. It's the different one. You know, the lady showed a different one, and I really wanted the one she showed. But they didn't have that one. They had this one. So this is the book. It's not hardback. It bends. Okay. But it's magazine style or catalog style. And it's got the glossy, silky papers, as I call them. And not just paper papers like a book. Trying to figure out how I can do this. Alright, it's got scrapbooking beyond your imagination. And um, it's showing, it says, A guide to creating home decor and gifts using scrapbooking supplies. So it's showing you how you can decorate all kind of stuff here. A paint can. Looks like a purse because it's got a handle, something here, and then a book, just all kind of stuff. It's showing more stuff on the back of it. And then, just a quick, make sure y'all can see. This is what the inside looks like. So, that's the book I got. Okay, so that's all out of my bag. Um, I'll take y'all in here with me so that because the other thing, yes, it's dark in my bedroom. Hang on. Albert and them has not got back yet. I'm going to turn my light on. The foot thing I was telling y'all about, they had different colored handles. I got a pink one. They didn't have purple. I would have got it. So they have this side. Under the light that but I didn't use that side I might have used it a little bit but what I used was that this is what I was talking about when I said the cheese grater I used that side to work on my foot with like y'all really wanted to know that information I feel like that there is something else that's not in the bag that I've done took out and used that I am forgetting to show y'all and tell you about or whatever but oh well anyway I can't think of what it is so I guess I'm done here and this is really long enough really too long because Lord this is gonna be an hour long video it's gonna take me all night to get it put up <laughs> all right guys I am going to say this is it for today so I'm done, I'm gone. Toodaloo.